Hey, this is Miles with SellerApp, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to make $100 in profit a day with online arbitrage. We're going to go through the product research method that we think is the most effective and is also the cheapest in terms of finding profitable items to sell on Amazon FBA in 2022. If you're interested in getting a free trial, make sure to do so down below, and let's jump inside my screen and source some profitable items. We're in my side of my screen now and we're going to be talking about the basics of reverse sourcing and how to find your first profitable item to sell on Amazon in 2022. Basically what reverse sourcing means is it means looking inside the catalogs of six sellers that are nowhere, sellers that we know are having success by looking at their review counts because we they have higher review counts, even like 10, 50 reviews. We know they're making money because they're selling items for a reason. So the items they're selling, they're making money on and therefore if they can find those items properly, so can we. We're gonna start out looking at some Nike sneakers. Why are we looking at Nike sneakers? Because we know that uh, Nike sneakers are being sold strictly by arbitrage sellers. We know we're not gonna have to compete with Amazon and we know that the other sellers on these listings are gonna be other online and retail arbitrage sellers because no one's getting wholesale accounts with Nike on stuff. So looking right here, we can see in terms of, this is just a decent starting point for any of you guys who are looking to find your first item on, uh, on these. We can just pick uh, pick one of these right here. I guess these Hirachis right here that have 105 reviews. On these right here, we can see the seller ramp pops up on the right. And we can see if we hop down here on the Keepa, we're gonna figure out which of the variations, right? Cause this is a sneaker, so there's different colors, different sizes, which of those is selling the quickest. So we hop down here, variations. And then over here, we can filter on the reviews and the ratings top to bottom to figure out which of the rating or which of the re which of the listings is getting the highest percentage of the ratings on here. So we can see these uh, black ones, the size not, it makes sense. The most basic colors and sizes are selling the quickest has 9% of the ratings right here. Right here. So we can see this one is, but I actually wouldn't be surprised if this was profitable right off the bat right here. Interesting. There is uh there's no competition on these. And it's weird that this one's uh selling the quickest right here let's see is there gonna be hop back here in the variations on a keep a right here it's a 50 k ring. it's not bad at all right so i'm looking i can see so i can pay right this a bsr 50k 53k and estimate sells 420 a month across the entire listing it's important to note for you guys that the bsr is for the entire listing the estimated sales for the entire listing however each individual variation has its own keep a chart We can see, so right here, um, if we actually check out what uh, what the white ones were moving for. So we can see, so these were selling for uh, 170, right? So if we see, let's pop up these right here. Some of these are gonna have a chance of being profitable right here. 25, ah, excluded from discount because I know that Champs has a discount code right here. So it's gonna say that this would have worked. Let's see, the white ones though, we can get them for in the, these are not excluded from discount. These are white with gum bottom though. White with all white right here. So we can pay about a hundred for these, right? Cause we have this 20% off coupon on here. So we hop down here in variations, filter top to bottom. Right here, we can see 165, 170, are they using like the 155 right here? 155, this is gonna be close to being profitable. Either way, I mean, it's random first listing. We uh we picked on here 162, 10, end up paying probably like 110-ish after sales tax and such. Right here, so that's, a, you know, actually a not bad item in terms of the first thing. So it's 20 bucks for opportunity and it's not quite gonna be good enough probably for what we want on these. Let's see if it's sold for like 175 though, then it would, uh would make sense right here and we can see has it been there at one point in the past oh it totally has yeah just a few months ago on something the competition's really low on this but more importantly what i'd like to do on this is scroll down here on the seller amp right and now go come down here to the competition we can see other sellers that are carrying this product right and we'd see so if i click on them any of the fba people i'm typically not going to open up the fbm sellers right here, we can come over here and now we can see inside their storefront and see actually the products they're carrying as well as the different brands they're carrying on stuff and the categories. So me personally, what I like to do for my own seven figure Amazon business is I'll come in here and I'll filter to different brands I like to carry like we do Converse for example, right here. And now we can look up all the Converse listings and this seller, we can see the different brands he's carrying, right? He has mainly Nike stuff in here, uh, Beyond, Downy and some Gatorade stuff 
in here. So this is a seller who only has eight reviews, so I'm probably not gonna get a ton of value from his store. Someone like this seller right here that has 72 reviews and 258 cents, there's probably gonna be some good stuff to take a look at in, uh, in here. So we can go to the Adidas stuff right here. And so Amazon's on a lot of Adidas listings, but it's important to know that even if Amazon's on one of the listings, one of the variations, it's going to show up on here, the variation that seller carries. But if you open up these listings, you can also figure out ones that variations within the specific listing, like different sizes or different colors that Amazon isn't carrying. And that is a great opportunity because Adidas is a great brand. And we can see on these BSRs that there's some really low BSRs being carried here. As, as well. So basically the idea is you find a good arbitrage listing, which is basically any, you know, Nike, great value, Lego listing that other arbitrage sellers are carrying. And we know that because we can see looking at the different brands they carry, it's typically going to be the big brands you've heard of, right? Taking a look at what they're carrying, coming to their catalog within Selleramp, and then taking a look at what products they're carrying and going out and Googling those products using Selleram, Google Shopping, getting creative with coupons and stuff like that. Champs coupon I showed you. You can oftentimes find tons of coupons literally just from Googling it. And that's something that's been super helpful for me on stuff. But yeah, we, we can take a look at a couple more of these, a uh, couple more of these Adidas listings right here. BSR 49K, 1K, no Amazon on this too. So I really like the idea of that, right? So I'm just opening up good listings, right? Good listings and then figuring out which of the variations are selling the quickest and for the most, which is by just hopping in variations right here. And we'd see, so this one is a 2K BSR, uh, 5,300 estimated sales a month, uh, $80 sale price right here. So I like the sound of this one. So this is uh, this one, let's see if we filter by price right here. So typically if I filter by price, I'm still gonna need at least 1% of the ratings percentage. So if I scroll down here, so I'm looking on the ratings percentage for at least 1%. So 1% these black ones right here, I have a good feeling these could end up being profitable. So we can see, and there's no buy box, which a lot of newer sellers are scared of. I'm personally not. QT racer. Let's see. Let's see, they have the black ones on here. Let's see, and what size? So 8.5. See, they have an 8.5. Okay, 8.5 is in stock. Is this the right thing? I would want to match and check the UPC, make sure you know it all. But it definitely looks like it is right here. So I think this can end up being a pretty uh, pretty profitable listing. We can see there's very, very low supply. There's only one seller on this right here. And it's not selling incredibly quick. Um, on stuff, but it is a BSR 2K ranked estimated sales. What category? It says including Shules Jewelry. Interesting on that. But if we plug in the $50 on the prop calculator, that's a very, very profitable listing right there on, on stuff. When you go to the, the historic all time, we can see a couple of years back, these went from 12 sellers on January 18th to then just a week later, two weeks later, having only two sellers. So people clearly, you know, want these stuff. We'll check out a couple more of these uh, items for that. That's a good, that's a good profitable listing right there. Ultra boost action right here. Variations. Let's see, top, top rating, 3%. Okay, Amazon's on a lot of these though. Let's see. Let's see, uh, 1% right here. Ultra boost 22. White tint. is an interesting, interesting looking uh, item right here. Let's see, okay, I get the Kiva. These are pretty consistently selling in the $180 range. The BSR is low, rating percentage was good. On um, these, these can actually be pretty uh, pretty close right here. If this is the right thing, which it looks like it's gonna be close. I'm not quite sure it is. I'll need to see the bigger, the bigger photo right here. So yeah, there's the green, yes. Yeah, so I think that is not the right thing. Um, tin turbo rush yeah th that's off if this was the right thing there's a 10 percent off code right here which is amazing which would bring that down what was this so is it uh 120 yes yeah, so it'd come out to like 110 ish after sales tax 110 115 on that and then that would have very very well been profitable let's check out this last listing but you guys see how we got a couple good one that one really good like 30 profit per unit uh, item just from that one storefront right there. And we had only looked at several listings here. Got a lot deeper on this stuff too. So this one's a great BSR, right? And Amazon's on this variation. So we're going to hop in here and take a look at the ratings, see if there's any high. Yeah, right here. So these black ones right here. So if we can pay 20 for these, we're going to be very, very profitable. Interesting. So Amazon's out of stock on these. So people are doing well. 
with these core black, core black comfort slides. Uh, let's see, are these the right thing? I'm not quite sure. Um, a 13 and an eight. Let's see, what about a 13 right here? Okay, I think these are going to end up being another uh, another nice profitable listing right here. And only one left in stock. Okay, at 21. And Adidas has coupons as well. So I think you could probably get this buy cost lower on that too. But let's see, lowest price right here, 38, 38, 49 was very high up there as of late. So let's see if you could move these at 45 and end up paying 21 in these, you're making some decent money on that. They're a little bit down as of late right here. But if we look at where, you know, we go at 49, right? 41 on those, like if we saw these in at 43, yeah, that would be profitable as well. So that's kind of the gist of reverse sourcing how I like to do things. It's, in my opinion, it's a very, very good way to find your first couple items and something I still do on my own and I'm spending well over a hundred grand a month on profitable items. So thank you guys for watching this seller amp video. Make sure to get a free trial link in the description and we will see you guys next week for another video.